Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and you're watching Vsense. Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today we're talking about a fragrance from the house of Loewe. So this is what the packaging looks like. Uh, it is a traditional Loewe box. So it's going to be that like open pour type of cardboard paper material. It is very nice. It is very sophisticated, very minimalistic. They have a plant here. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. But the fragrance we have here today is Seven Cobalt. So the original one came out in 2010, 2011. And then we did get number seven cobalt which is fairly a new launch it's from 2021 so it's not that old so i was very surprised to find it on fragrance net which is where i did purchase this not sponsored although i should be but i did get this on fragrance net for 75 ish 76 ish dollars which is a really good deal because the price of this one is 145 US dollars for 3.4 fluid ounces or for a 1.7 ounce bottle for 50 mils you would be paying 110 or 115. It changes from site to site so I'm not quite sure which one is the price you'd be paying but here's the fragrance we have here is a box and when you open it et voila you get that beautiful cobalt blue metallic type bottle and this is what the bottle looks like so this is very similar to incenza they have moved almost all of their bottles and their mainstream fragrance line to these and they are very nice they're very simplistic very very elegant i think they're very timeless very classic they can also come off a little cheap but to me they actually look very sophisticated and elegant I do like the color of this one a lot. The nice thing about this bottle itself too is that all of their lids are actually made out of wood and you do get that Loewe logo at the top. You also get the Loewe logo here in the inside of the cap. They're not magnetic just so you do know the caps are pressurized but you can hold it from the top very safely without dropping your bottle. I know that they also manufacture five ounce bottles in certain ones in their line um like i said this is a 2021 version they do make it the eau de toilette which is the 2011 or 2010 version this is an eau de parfum so we're supposed to get a very long lasting fragrance so loeve is not giving a perfumer for this fragrance which is a little bit unfortunate because i'm starting to see that this is a trend we started seeing it with tom ford celine does it this is an lvmh brand so dior givenchy you know all of those brands are part of lvmh group and loewe being part of the lvmh group they are not listing a perfumer unfortunately so 2021 launch it is a noted parfum and the notes for this fragrance are going to be sage clove and frankincense pink pepper black currant and tonka bean as well as vetiver so we kind of get these traditional male fragrance type of notes in this fragrance overall I will say that this fragrance is a blue scent. It's true to what it actually is meant to be. It's supposed to be a crowd pleasing fragrance and it very much is one of those. I will say that it is a little generic at this point. I think we have seen a lot of blue scents that kind of, you know, smell like each other. This one gives a lot of vibes of Dylan Blue by Versace. It also smells almost identical to Blue de Chanel. So if you're looking for a dupe of Blue de Chanel Dio de Toilette, then it does smell a lot like that. it also has some similarities to sauvage by dior now the thing that it has similar to that one is that it has a little metallicness to it doesn't have in brox and listed as one of the notes but it does have a very minute metallic type note in this fragrance it is nice it is going to be a fragrance that is a very crowd pleasing fragrance now i will say that if you're looking for originality if you're looking for something different something that is new and never you know explored and never has been done or something very different that's going to make you stand out this is not the one for you it is your blue aftershave type fragrance so very clean very fresh very very out of the shower very soapy type of fragrance that traditional men scent that we do get in the department stores but because of that, it's also going to be a fragrance that is going to be very much liked. It's going to be a compliment getter. If that is what you're looking for, then this is the one for you. If you're looking, like I said, for something a little bit more original, this is probably not going to be the one for you. I do love their packaging. Like I said, their little lid is made out of wood, which is very nice, very sustainable. They also do have this beautiful logo at the top of the sprayer. And the sprayer itself is fairly nice you know it's not a very wafty type sprayer it's everywhere here um, but it is a nice sprayer nonetheless 
I also get some other notes in here that are not listed, such as neroli. I also get a little bit of mandarin orange in here, some citric notes in here as well. And we very much could have a little bit of ambroxan in here. It's not listed as a note but it's not going to be a Sauvage dupe. If anything, it's going to be a dupe for Bleu de Chanel. I would certainly say to try this one out because you can find it on discounters, fairly steeply discounted. So you're going to get a good brand, good quality, brand with brand recognition. I mean, not as much as Dior or Chanel, but you're also going to get a high quality fragrance from it. And you're also going to get a scent that is very much like, like the Bleu de Chanel of the Toilet. So Definitely try this fragrance. What do you guys think of the Loewe line? Do you want to see more videos about this line? Do you not? Let me know. You know, there's quite a bit of interesting ones in here. Do you want to see more of the mainstream line or do you want to see more of their exclusive, you know, Un Paseo por Madrid line? Let me know all of that down in the comments. Also, make sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up for more fragrance related content. And I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.